The weakness of ringgit, which now trades at 4.01 against the US dollar, is mainly influenced by external factors, especially the rising dollar. The local unit slumped due to increase in US interest rates and concerns over global trade tensions, which resulted in an outflow of funds from emerging market. FXTM Global Head of Currency Strategy and Market Research, Jamil Ahmad, said the ringgit could weaken to 4.1 against the US dollar by year end if the global trade war escalates. Internal factors such as the government's debt and policy changes contributed only a small percentage to the bearish performance of the ringgit. At the moment, he said, it was difficult to determine the fair value of the ringgit. But in the currency markets, yes, it looks that way. Um, because of the risk atmosphere and the very cautious atmosphere from investors, it is likely that emerging market assets, including both stocks and currencies, will remain under pressure. There's big uncertainties over global trade. He was speaking at a briefing session on the ringgit's performance for the first half 2018 in Kuala Lumpur on Tuesday. Commenting on the removal of goods and services tax known as the GST, Jamil said this development has a positive potential on the economy. It would free up more disposable income, though the process may take six months or more before the actual impact could be thoroughly assessed. Because the new government's only just came into play, it's, it's actually quite speculative to say what measures could have an impact. We couldn't say that the GST removal, um, the tax removal, could have a positive impact on GDP growth based on the aspects that consumers will have more disposable income and that they could um, spend that disposable money elsewhere. But with any new government or with any new initiative, it takes time. The removal of GST could also have a positive impact on gross domestic product growth as consumers will have more disposable income. Jamil pointed out that consumer spending and sentiment will be key indicators to watch out for in the second half of the year amid ongoing external uncertainties.